Okay. So I need to go over there. So therefore, let's go over here. Avalux Legacy. I kind of want to heal first, though. Could I heal here if I go to the Pearl Settlement? I don't know. Okay, well, I guess we'll try flying. But do I have to battle Avalug if I'm over there? That's what I'm scared about. Ooh, look at this. So I could dash with B, and I could dive with Y. Got it. And I'm pretty sure this will be just like Maridon and Kuridon, where you can't fly the whole time. You'll just steadily start to, um, fall. Alright, here we come. Am I moving down at all? Huh. Wait. I could just stay up here? Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> I wish Maridon and Garidon were like that. You could just literally stay in, uh, you know, the area I want to stay in. <laughs> I, I could actually just stay in there. That's, cool. that's crazy. Alright, let's investigate. Your arc phone is beeping. Okay. You obtain a piece of eternal ice. Just one piece. A type of ice beloved by the lord of the tundra, Avalug. This ice is said to be fragments of ancient Avalug that lived long ago. The piece literally looks like a bergamite, so I mean... Sure. <laughs> At last, the summit is conquered. And I see you made it too. Flew down to this place and obtained the eternal ice, did you? What drives that burning zeal of yours, I wonder? You gave Garrick the eternal ice. I do have to respect the effort you've put in. I may still have my own doubts weighing on my mind, but I will make the necessary preparations so that you can face my lord, Avalug. Meet me at Ice Peak Arena. Okay. Now, don't try to repeat the wondrous feat you're about to see me perform. A tall leap like this can only be managed by highly toned bodies like mine. Yep. Till next we meet. Sure. Make your way to Ice Peak Arena. Alright. Where is that at? It's over here. Got it. Alright, so I guess now, actually, I should totally go, um, heal. Because... Yeah, my Pokemon are a bit weak right now, so. Let's heal, and then we'll be on our way. I could put some stuff away. Uh, Doppel Bonnets. Don't care about those. Don't care about those. Tumblestone can go in there, too. Crunchy Salt. Experience Candy. Grit Gravel. Balls of Mud. Okay, this tumble stone, soup foot root. Uh, okay, how do I make potions? That's kind of what I want to do now. Because I don't think I've ever made potions before, and I kind of want to make potions. Let's see. So it's an orange berry medicinal leak. Okay, I could do that. And then this one is a potion and a peppa plant. Okay. And this one is a potion, a super potion, and a viva choke. Got it. So, yeah, let's make some potions, because, like, I've never made potions before in this game. And I just really should make potions. Uh, I'll go ahead and get some of these as well. There you go. That's good for now. Oh, wait, hold on. But I could also make these. Ooh, that's good. That is really good. I could also make these that I probably should have on me at all times. All right, let's go. I did not mean to uh, summon Braviary, but I, that's what happened. All right. So it looks like when I dash, we do get lower. Yeah, see. 
Alopony. Oh my god. And it runs away too. Why does it run away? Oh my god, Alopony? I need that. I need that Lopony. Dang it! <laughs> was so hoping I would get it. All right, let's just uh, summon Weird Ear, and then let's go. There's an Electabuzz. Oh my God, an Alpha Swineub. Hold the phone. That's gotta be easy-ish to catch, right? An Alpha Swineub? Totally. Let's see. Okay. I don't think it's gonna let me catch it, so... That's where we're at. Alright, let's see. Okay. Here we go. Oh, hey! Am I supposed to... Yeah, this is it, right? This is where I have to go. Why, if it isn't Kiara... What a pleasure finding familiar face, or any face, in this far corner of the Alabaster Icelands. I came to bring Garrick in order of sword caps, and he was more than willing to have a chat about Avalug. What do you say, interested in a bit of gossip? Um, absolutely. <laughs> totally. And why wouldn't you be? So, Avalug, yes, the fifth of Hisui's nobles. That he is, and you know what? He's an absolute beast. Well, yes, according to what I was told, not only does he barrage you with chunks of ice, he also fires off massive icicles, and he could cause sharp ice crystals to erupt from the ground below you. Doesn't that seem a bit too powerful to take on? What's more, apparently the Avalug of old could be up to a hundred feet tall. Doesn't that seem a bit too big to take on? Oh, you'll be all right. You just have to eat some sword caps and give your training your all. Nothing better for building muscle than that. Onward now to the arena. Hmm. Yes, well, I did want to see that Avalug, but perhaps not at the cost of my life. So I suppose my freezing digits and I will be off. Your freezing digits? You call them freezing digits? Okay. I think that's what he calls his body. Freezing digits. Alright, let's go over there. Oh, hello, Machop. You want to fight? There you go. <laughs> cool. I've never caught a Machop before. Ooh! A Machamp? Oh my god. Are you an alpha? Yes, you are. Okay. I thought so. Do you like raspberries? Dang it. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. <laughs> I'm just running away. I did not do that. I did not do whatever you think I did. Oh my god, look at that Lopany. It's just chillaxing in the hot spring. That was cute. I literally just saw it chillaxing in the hot spring. Alright. Let's see. Yay, I got it. That was a strong one. Alright. Let's see. Okay. 
Okay. Alright, let's start heading to the pin again, which is over there. It's going to be past this, uh, what's it called? Oh god, there's a Gligor. And they like to fight. Alright. I don't care. There's a Bergmite. Another Bergmite. Okay. There we go. I need to climb up here. Here we go. Here we are. Okay. Uh, we should be good. Let's go. So we are to quell Avalug as you wished. In the end, the strength of your feelings won out. Or maybe your real strength comes from the way that you walk among both people and Pokemon. Well, I suppose I better get to work making some bombs using that eternal ice. I've heard how they are made, and with muscles like mine, it'll be only a moment's work. Okay. And there you have it. If you truly wish to quell Avalug, then walk on. The path lies before you. But know that Avalug will hurl chunks of ice at you without relent. You'll need unrivaled dodging ability. I'm going. Oh my god. How big is it? How big is it going to be? Like, I know around the general size Avalug is supposed to be, compared to a playable character in, an, in a Pokemon game. But, oh my god! <laughs> what is that? Yeah, that was not what I was thinking. I thought it was just gonna be like, you know, three times my size, not 20 times my size. It's more like 50 times my size. Oh my god! That is huge. Okay. Oh god, and I'm not able to, um, go in the water. Okay, so I just have to follow this pattern. That's easy enough. Ow. Okay. That was hurtful, excuse me. Oh my god. I need to just think of his moves. What the heck? What was I supposed to do there? Was I supposed to jump over it? Dang it. I failed. Could I leave real quick? <laughs> I can't leave. Oh, so I could press Y to dodge, I guess. Guess that's what I have to do. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. I literally just ran into that, that ice ball. It's fine. I wasn't really uh, prepared for that. Concentrate on dodging and wait for your chance to track back. Okay, I get that. I get that. Yes, I will. Yes, I will continue. Let's go. Okay. So let's stay back a bit. Let's go side to side. This move is really easy to dodge. They give you plenty of room to dodge this one. And then he's going to uh, do that icicle thing. Got it. Ow. And then he's doing that. Okay. Oh my god. I could not dodge that at all. Oh wow, how did I do that? Okay, that was cool. Ow. 
I don't know why I sent Breezel. I just did. That's what happened. <laughs> I mean, uh, Floatzel. Uh, okay, level 56, so it's not bad. Let's do this. Let's start with this. Ooh, okay, that was good. Now's your chance to attack. Get it, get it, get it. Okay. We're good. Okay, he's doing his thing again. That's fine. Make sure to not hit these. Alright, doing your icicle thing. Got it. Got it. Okay. Let's wait for the next attack, which is the beam. Yeah. And then dodge it. Sweet. And then I could send a Pokemon? Good. Okay. Here we go. Show Avalug your power. Let's go with the flamethrower. How was that not super effective? Oh shoot. Isn't it supposed to be an ice type? I mean, I noticed next to the move that it didn't say it was super effective, but I still wanted to check. So, is Avalok a ground type? Is it a ground ice type? Oh, you know what? It could be that. I never even thought about that. That's why water is super effective. I don't know. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Keep it going. Okay. Here we go. He's almost halfway there. Nope. <laughs> I was supposed to aim higher. Okay. Do your icicle thing. That's fine. Ow, that hurt. Okay. Do your beam from there, okay. Let's go. Fight me, Avalug, fight me. Okay. Here we go. We're going to do an a uh, water pulse. Make sure I do strong style just to be sure that I could defeat it in one hit. Good. Okay. Okay. Here we go. What's happening? Are you doing the same attacks? Yes, you are. Oh, God. And there's icicles as well. Okay. Watch out for those. Alright. Oh my god. What are you doing? You're scaring me. Okay, that's it. We're good. It's a lot. Okay. Now the beam. Give me it. There you go. And then now could I fight you? Yes, I can. Go. Come 
Come on, Buizel. We got this. I mean, Floatzel. I keep calling it Buizel. It's so not a Buizel. It does look like Buizel, but it's definitely not Buizel. Alright. Alright, come on. One more battle. I think one more battle should be good. Alright, you're doing your icicles again. Cool. Alright, the center. Yep. Over here. And over there. Okay. <laughs> just, just chill out. Cool down, Avalug. Cool it. Ooh. No, that's not good. It's getting red. Here comes the beam. Send in Pokemon to do battle. Go. Oh my god. I'm like shaking here. Okay. You got this floatzel. <laughs> Need to make sure I pronounce the right word. Good. Come on, let's take this on. Get dead. I mean, you can't really get dead, but I could quell you. <laughs> nice. First try. That was totally the first try of doing that battle. We did it. Ooh, 6,000. It was a lot. Oh, I see the problem here. That's a Hisuian Avalug. That's why I'm just like, isn't it an ice type? Only? But I never knew that they actually made a Hisuian Avalug. I never knew that. That that definitely looks like a Hisuian Avalug. Garrick, sir, you needn't look so quite uh you needn't look quite so downcast. But but seeing mighty Avila quelled, and by such a slight child, a child that fell from the very sky, is this Kiara girl some kind of monster in disguise? She is no monster. She's the one who risked her life without a second thought in order to quell our frenzied, suffering nobles. Kiara. Gary cares for the Pearl Clan with all his heart and believes in Almighty Sinnoh just as deeply. So he has feared more than any of us that getting involved with the Diamond Clan and your galaxy team could cause our people so flag... Uh, to flag in their devotion to Almighty Sinnoh. But that will change. Irida? I know your fears will change once you see what I've seen. Kiara has much to teach us. She's shown us how we can overcome all man all manner of strife, so long as... Okay, I don't know. She's made me want to help Glaceon realize greater strength as well, and to see my whole world grow broader. It seems you've already changed, Irida. I knew you could pull that off. You quelled every last frenzied noble. So is that space-time rift going to start closing up now, or what? There's little way of knowing for sure, though the rift does seem perhaps a little smaller somehow. Let's hope so, anyway. Well, with any luck, things will settle down now. Even... Uh, although... Even if the rift does start spitting out more of that strange lightning, we should still be alright as long as we've got Kiara. Indeed we should be. It's good to have her on our side. You know something, Irida? We may never agree on who's got it right about Almighty Sinnoh, but you Pearl Clan folk aren't all that bad in my book. Luke has finally seen reason. Anyway, now that we've quelled the last noble, I say we pay grim old commander... Kamado, a visit and see if he'll finally crack a smile for us. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, then. We did it, you guys. We did it. 
That was the last noble, and I think we also got our last ride Pokemon too, which is Braviary. Now we could climb, we could uh, uh, dash on land, we could fly, and we could swim. We could do it all. Uh, I don't know why I'm running. I could just teleport. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know why the heck I'm running. Alright, let's go over here. Snowfields camp. Let's go ahead and rest real quick. And then I'll pay Commander Komodo a visit. See what he says. Hopefully he's happy. Let's see, I caught 18 Pokemon. Nice. I caught 11 different species. Cool. 7 Pokemon caught for the first time. That's amazing. Love that. Okay. Oh, it seems you made some new observations. Let's have a look. Most illuminating. Alright. Uh, Staravia we finished? Staravia? How did we finish Staravia? When we never even, like, saw Staravia. Seriously? We finished Staravia? <laughs> we finished Piloswine, too. What? Oh my god, I, did, I killed so many Piloswine that we actually completed it the first time I met it. Oof, that's crazy. That is crazy. You managed to quell Lord Avalok? Fantastic stuff. As always, I'm sure the commander is eagerly awaiting your report to the village. Okay, let's do that. That was amazing. We did so much today. Let's go. Okay. Please be proud of me, Commander. Here we go. Each of the Pokemon nobles became frenzied, and now each of them has been quelled. We still have no explanation for why this calamity befell us, but I'm glad to see it put to an end. And to think peace would be restored to Hisui by the hand of our mysterious Rift-born helper. When tomorrow dawns, it will dawn on a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we will be able to return to our normal lives. Go nourish yourself at the Wallflower and allow yourself a good long rest. Don't forget, the Survey Corps' work is not over. It does not end until our people can live here in Hisui without fearing the Pokemon around us. Yes. The slumbering Lord of the Tundra is complete. Thanks for this nice, sizable helping of Potato Moki, Benny old chum. Oh, if there's anything... Uh, if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. Now that Avalug's quelled too, we can survey all over Hisui. I certainly had my reservations as to whether Avalug needed quelling, but if it means bringing calm to everyone, then I suppose we did the right thing. I need to think what kind of havoc the frenzied nobles could have wreaked if Kiara never came to us. Still, even with all the nobles quelled, the rift doesn't seem to be closing, huh? Although, wait, if the rift were to disappear, would that mean Kiara would be stuck here? I'm not sure. Well, our little team is certainly very practiced at investigating things by now. We'll look into the matter and find a solution, I have no doubt. And even if we don't, you'll always have a home here in Jubilee Village. Now then, tomorrow's soon upon us, and it'll be another hard day at work for the Survey Corps. Don't forget that we've got our sight. Uh, don't forget what we've got our sights on. Nothing less than a completed Pokédex. With you around, the Pokédex is as good as complete. Hey, how about I tag along as your assistant? Assistant? Come on now, Ray. Don't sell yourself short. You're a full-fledged member of the Survey Corps too. 
Well, sure, I guess I am. In any case, time for a hearty meal and a hearty, uh, heavy sleep. Okay, then. Let's do it. What's up next? I don't think my journey's over yet. Kaboom! Uh-oh. What's happening? And also, by the way, it said Bakum, <laughs> but I said Kaboom. Alright. Disaster looming. Ooh, what's that? What's that about? I think, though, we'll actually have to start that next episode, you guys. We did a lot. I think uh, we'll have to start that next time. And, uh... Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. We uh, quelled Avalug. Quelled Avalug, which is the final noble, and I think we also have the final ride Pokemon, so now we can go anywhere we want. Braviary is going to be a big help to us. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time for more Pokemon Legends Arceus. Thank <laughs> you.